Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big-time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. There are three ways that you can be sure that you're making the right decision in life. Three ways that you can be sure of exactly the right path to take when you are at a crossroads in life. And they're all found in 1 John 5, verse 8. The Bible says there are three on earth who prove it is true. That is who prove that your decision is true. They are the spirit, the water, and the blood. These three all prove the same thing. The New King James Version says these three all agree as one. So my friend, if you have the combined agreement of the spirit, the water, and the blood, scripture says that you can be sure that that decision you've made or the decision you're about to make is a true one and it is the right one. But you need to remember you have to have all three witnesses in agreement. All three witnesses have to agree and align one with the other. Because Bible says in 2 Corinthians 13, 1, it says, Every fact shall be sustained and confirmed by the testimony of two or three witnesses. So if you have the confirmation of the Spirit, the confirmation of, the, of water, and confirmation of the blood, then that fact, that decision is confirmed to be true. Now, so far we've talked about what the witness of the spirit is and the witness of the water. Please, if you miss any of those previous episodes, I really strongly recommend that you go back, visit our YouTube channel, Knowing God Media, and watch them. The witness of the spirit is the Holy Spirit speaking into your spirit, and also the witness of the water is the word of God. The word of God. Now today, quickly, let's conclude the series by discussing the third witness, which is the witness of the blood. Now, the witness of the blood, blood is a symbol of sacrifice, self-sacrifice. So the, the, the witness of the blood refers to the sacrifice of your self-will, your human self-centered will for the will of God. The witness of the blood represents you turning over your own selfish human nature for the will of God. Remember what happened to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord, in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus was at the biggest crossroads of his life. Our Lord Jesus Christ was, you know, facing the choice of whether or not to go to the cross. Remember what happened. Let's go there. In the Garden of Gethsemane, the Bible says in Luke twenty-two forty-two that our Lord Jesus Christ, he cried out to the Father in prayer. He said, Father, if thou wilt remove this cup from me, but then, not my will, but thine be done. Then if you move down to verse 44, look at what happened. It says, and being in conflict, Jesus was in conflict. Two different opinions, two different choices were conflicting in his mind. He was facing that conflict. Bible says, and being in conflict, he, Jesus, he prayed more intently and his sweat became as great drops of blood falling down upon the earth. So here you see it. The symbol of blood represents the conflict of the human will, the human selfish will and the will of God. And my friend, if you are faced with a decision, you must ask yourself, what I'm about to do, what I am about to decide upon, is it going to gratify my selfish human desire or is it all about bringing glory to God? My friend, you must always settle on a decision that will bring glory to God. If what you're about to do does not glorify God, if what you're about to do is just to advance your own selfish human desire, or sinful desire, or fleshly desire, well, not necessarily sinful all the time, but if it's all, if it's self-centered, then you don't want to go on with that decision. But whatever decision you take that is all about the focus, the aim, the intention of that decision is to bring glory to God, then my friend, you have made the right decision. You have made the right decision. Jesus then, he said, not my will. He didn't want to go to the cross because as far as his flesh is concerned, it was going to be very painful. But he knew that 
deciding to go to the cross will bring glory to God. And he went with that decision. I tell you, any decision you take in life, seek above all things to bring glory to God. Jesus in John 7 verse, 8, verse 18 said, he said, whoever speaks on his own seeks his own glory. But whoever seeks the glory of the one who sent him is truthful and there is no wrong in him. You cannot make a wrong decision if you are seeking the glory of God. The voice translation says, but I chase only after the glory for the one who sent me. My intention is authentic and true. You will find no wrong motives in me. And so you have to examine your motive when you're making a decision. What is your motive? Why do you want to do what you want to do? Is it just all about pride or all about you? It must be, my friend, about the glory of God. That's how you know your decision is authentic. If your intention is authentic and true, your decision ultimately will be authentic and true. So you need to analyze all your decisions by examining your motives. You have to make sure that you have the right motive, which is the motive of glorifying God, seeking the glory of God, and not gratifying your selfish human desires. So my friend, three ways to know that every decision in life you make is true. Number one, the witness of the spirit, the witness of the water, and the witness of the blood, which is the surrendering of your own human will for the will and the glory of God. Yep, never again will you make a wrong decision in life. You will fulfill destiny, my friend, in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching today. I do trust you were blessed. Please come back next time as we start another wonderful word by episode and follow all our social media handles and don't forget to subscribe so that you can be instantly notified when the next episode comes out. God bless you.